everyone, it's Anne. Today we are going to do a twin flame reading. It's been a while since I've done a twin flame reading, so let's see what's going on. I call on all my guides of the world. Okay, a completion of some sort. Okay, so I call on all my guys, angels, the Senate Masters. Please help me be a clear channel for the Twin Flame Collective who will be tuning in. What do we need to know? Okay. We have Page of Pentacles and Death. So this has been coming out a lot in the pre-shuffle. So this... It's about the Divine Masculine planting the keys for the future. See how this he's holding is a, actually a key. To me, it looks like he's planting it. It may or may not be a key, but to me it looks like a key. So he's planting seeds for the future so it can grow for the future going through transformation so the seeds that he's planting now is going to be transformation for the future transformation for the whole world as it takes roots and grow so basically the divine masculine have started his mission and I'm doing this twin flame reading because I was so inspired seeing all the Divine Masculine out there in the world that are stepping up with all the current world events if you've been following. following. Eight of Wands, yeah, see? All the Divine Masculine are hearing his call and they're flocking, flying together. So the Divine Masculine is stepping up in the world, taking charge, taking lead, planting seeds for the future, coming together as a flock flying together, which is representative of current world events, if you've been keeping up. And I feel very, very proud of all the Divine Masculine that are out there doing what they are doing. So, I was curious to see what the reading will show. So that yeah, this came out in the pre-shuffle as well, yeah. King of Swords. Yep, stepping into his power with guiding light above. His crown chakra is open. King of Swords. Dealing with legal contracts, le legal matters, contract law. Also, uh, soul mission, soul calling, soul contracts, sacred contracts as well as legal contracts in the world, constitution, charter rights, you know, any legal documents type of thing, constitutional as well as sacred worldly contract. Wow. Wow, you guys, this is awesome. Here, here it is, connection. Balancing the feminine, the masculine, the yin and the yang balancing and reuniting and connecting all right and the three of cups so lots of collaboration coming together working together two by two and also as a larger soul group soul family all right yeah tower so crumbling the current paradigm there is a paradigm shift and the old world is crumbling, coming to an end. Knight of Swords. This has been coming out a lot in the pre-shuffle as well. Quick, rapid movement. Guiding light, wheeling the sword, standing up. And this has been coming out in the pre-shuffle. It's amazing. Ten of Pentacles. Working together. Building a solid foundation for his family and future family for generation to come. See, remember that tree? 
this tree, the key that he planted, is going to take root. So what he's building is not only for his current generation and immediate family, but their kids and their kids for generation to come build, building. And that key that he planted, that seed, is going to take roots. It's going to grow deep and grow high. We see a family here and we also see a home. So what he's building now is going to be solid and secure for the future. Four of Swords, resting, retreating, contemplating, resting before going into battle, resting before taking action. Three of Swords, lots of heart pain, heart wounds, heartbreaks, setbacks. Nine of Pentacles, freedom. So heartbreak in regards to being free. So there's been some setback and heartbreak in regards to being free. And that's why there's this healing and resting card, a truth cards, but there will be wish fulfillment going forward. Seven of Cups. Checking all their options and choices in regards to the current battle. Yep, there is an awakening. Awakening within the Divine Masculine and what the collective Divine Masculine is doing as a whole is also waking up humanity as a whole. So the Divine Masculine are definitely stepping up to their mission. Look, look, you guys. This is wild as crap. Awakening humanity from the grip of the dark devil evil that's in the world. So he's doing his mission. They are doing their mission. Breaking the tie that bind the bound. Wow. Awakening humanity as a whole. To unbind the grip of slavery and addiction through this toxic dark energy. I like this depiction. Traditionally the devil card is you know, the devil with the horns and two people in chains, right? Bound as slaves in chains. This is a different interpretation of being bound. But awakening. Awakening. As a whole, that's what the Divine Masculine are coming together as a whole. To do, to do this together. Collaboration. That's why we see so many collaboration cards. As a group. As a force. As a mess. Alright. What else, Spirit? What else? That came flying out. King of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, solid. The Divine Masculine are building something very solid, creating something very, very solid. Not only for the present moment, for, but for future moment, for this generation and all future generations. Very powerful stuff. New beginnings, new start. A destined new beginning. Taking that risk, that leap of faith. Fearless. Fearless and full of strength. A true warrior. Standing up. Taking a stance. No matter um, how tough it's been or what kind of wounds he has. Have endure. Standing strong. Standing the ground.
standing their ground. All right, this came jumping out, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, is also holding and grounding the energy behind the scenes. And then we have the Sun, Happiness, Success, Four of Wands, Celebration, and this came out in the pre-shuffle as well, build, building the yin and the yang. New beginnings from the heart chakra with emotion flowing out, heart chakras. What else, spirit? What else? Here we have the world again. Next phase, new beginning with passion and creativity. We have Seven of Swords, the Magician, Knight of Wands, the Emperor. Here we go, Eight of Swords. Yep, breaking free, standing his ground in regards to deception, being stabbed in the back, using his skill to manifest, creativity, passion, moving forward with passion, and breaking free from the tie that binds, from being trapped, taking his power, taking his stance. Yep. We have Queen of Swords and Eight Eight of Swords, holding that sword of clarity, truth and clarity. There's our Angel Michael energy here. And holding the line for truth and justice. Three of Pentacles working together. So the Divine Masculine Collective is coming together, working together for the highest good of humanity which is what they came to do. It's a heavy burden, heavy responsibility. There are some regrets, pain, and setback. It's not an easy road, but they are standing strong despite the setback. All right, let's see. What can the Divine Feminine do? What does this feel like? New inspiration, new spark, Ace of Wands. We just had the Ace of Wands here. So new spark, new creativity, new passion. We have intuition, we have two, we have the high priestess twice. So this has the yin and the yang. This is seen with the third eye. So that creative spark, that passion, that ignite. And trusting the intuition and the inner guidance. All right, what else? Change your perspective, hangman, seeing clearly, enlightened, seeing clearly. But I had also asked, what can the divine masculine do to support the divine, uh, I mean, the divine feminine do to support the divine masculine? Seeing with the third eye, seeing with the spiritual eye, following your heart, your passion, and seeing things from the bigger picture, the higher perspective, meaning the from the soul perspective, from the mission perspective, from the soul contract, and holding, holding, um, grounding, grounding, being stable, being an anchor, being an anchor, 
of the ship to keep the energy and the stability for the strength. Yeah, the inner power. So working together, holding the space, holding the light, going within, meditation, guidance, inner seeing, inner sight, seeing things with different perspective, being grounded, pulling the energy down and into the earth and ground with inner power and strength so that the divine masculine can draw upon that solid energy look working together divine soulmate you're holding that balance that light that energy see it's like the woman the divine feminine is behind this divine masculine to support and guide filling with light to create the inner strength and inner stability and grounding as as the divine masculine is on the front line holding the line taking a stance and standing strong next card is victorious victorious abundance and independence so there will be victory there will be victory as the twin flames work working together all the divine masculine coming together to do their work and the divine feminine standing behind supporting grounding with inner strength Together there will be victory and abundance and independence, sovereignty and freedom for the collective. Look, we have the sun again. The sun, oops, wrong card. That was the back of the card, I thought, but that is all the sun. So it's interesting that I was seeing the back of the cards, but the back of the cards is also the sun card. Yeah, see the sun card. But this is it's also the back of the cards. The sun, fulfillment, content. Happiness, fulfillment, content. Battle, nine of wands, hanging on. So this is what the Twin Flames came here to do, and it's time. And all the Divine Masculine are stepping up and doing it. And Spirit is saying for the Divine Feminine to stand behind and support, which some Divine Feminine, it appears, are. Juggling choices, so there's a fork in the road. and walking away from the old from the old paradigm this has come out a lot as well six of cups past memories the empress creation so birthing reconnecting reconnecting Twin flames connecting and birthing, birthing, creating something new. Six of swords transition, going from a place of darkness to a place of light. And this came out a lot in the pre-shuffle as well. Moving forward, quick speed with determination. All right. Any additional messages, Spirit? Let's pull one of these 
from the Angel deck. All right. Nine of Fire. Protection, preparedness, resilience. Yep, holding the line. The Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine both holding the line with the Guardian Angel guarding. So holding the line. New Beginning. Protection, believing. So new beginning, which we've seen. Night of Fire. Moving forward with passion and speed. And we saw this also. Five of Council. Learning. Tradition. There were, this came out a lot. Lots of wisdom. The Divine Masculine are being guided by his inner... Inner, inner sight as well as mentors, Native American mentors, as for guides. Transformation, crumbling of the old paradigm, and standing guard, taking a stand. So these two energies are the same. So that is what is currently going on now. Three of Waters. Celebration, community, friendships, which we got. Also, Three of Cups. So it's coming out again. So the final outcome is the Twin Flame will be and are successful at doing their work. And there will be a new... Horizon, new paradigm shift, and celebration. So that's good to see. Renewal, next card on top, rebirth. So that's the world card that kept coming out. The world. New beginning, the world. Rebirth. So, and then the sun again, bringing in a new world. So the twin flames are bringing in a new world. A rebirth. New world, new paradigm. Planning, partnershiping, partner, partnering, planning. So this is what the Divine Masculine is currently doing. And then we have the star. This came out a lot in the pre-shuffle. Not this deck, but the star in another deck. Wish fulfillment. Balance. Balance the yin and the yang. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Coming together. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Nine of earth. We saw this. We saw this. It's the same. So there will be independence and freedom and sovereignty for all. The human collective. And look you guys. The Empress again. New birth. New creation. Wow. All the same cards are coming out. It's beautiful. Six of fire. We had the victory right? So victory. Success. New birth. Bringing in a new world. So the old paradigm it's going to fall, collapse with that, with this tower. Transformation as, as the twin flame, especially the divine masculine, stand guard, take hold, hold the stance, creating a new birth, new world, paradigm shift, success, recognition. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So that was good. That's good to know. All right. So if you guys been feeling down with world events and what's going on, um, hopefully this reading helped to inspire you guys and gave you a glimpse as to what's going on with the Divine Masculine and within the Twin Flame Journey, Twin Flame Collective for those that resonate it with. So, and if you're a Divine Feminine watching this, you can see here what is Spirit's guidance all right and if you're a divine masculine watching this 
hopefully this help as well to give you inspiration and insight all right wishing you all the best love and light to all the twin flames out there that are holding the line godspeed and i will catch you again in the next video bye